Hello there and welcome to another episode in my Citroen Relay van build series. It's a nice sunny day today so it seems the perfect time to cut some holes in the roof and fit the Max fans. Okay I've decided to go with the Max Fan Deluxe and I've gone for uh, what they call the uh, the tint version uh, which is just a very slight tint on there but you can see through and uh, in the kit it's all pretty straightforward you've got your fixing frame, internal trim, remote control, fixings and the actual fan itself. Okay, so in preparation, I've already made my uh, wooden frame uh, with pocket holes on the, on the corners and that fits over there and I've given myself uh, a nice bit of wiggle room all the way around. Uh, learn from the windows to uh, give yourself a nice bit of play and don't make it too tight because it just gives you pain and aggro later on. So hopefully that should work just fine. And let's go inside the van and I'll show you what I've prepared. So I've got two Max fans that I'm fitting, one at the front and one near the rear. Um, as you can see here, I've already uh, cut a hole in the, uh, in the uh, first layer of insulation, the closed cell foam. And I've uh, offered my, uh, my piece of wood in there like so. And I've uh, just marked and cut the, uh, the four corners. So I have four nice little rays of sunshine coming through. Right, let's get up on the roof with the uh, jigsaw and uh, cut this hole out. Okay, so I've enlarged the holes on the corners now. So my uh, jigsaw will, will fit through. And I've... Uh, marked out with some masking tape where my line is. So uh, let's just cut this hole. Okay, so we've got our hole, just clear up all the uh, little filings there. Down inside onto the bubble wrap. Excellent, right. Let me get rid of the bubble wrap and then we'll uh, have a look. You can't do a roof fan installation video without sticking Greg Virgo's head through the hole now, can you? So the next job for me was to prepare my uh, shims. So what I did is I went to my local uh, window supplier and got a, uh, a nice long length of this uh, door trim, uh, which I think is gonna do the job for me okay. So what I've done is I've cut two lengths at uh, 46 centimeters. I've cut some uh, smaller pieces here, just a straight edge for the inside. And I've cut a selection here with uh, an angled edge like that to go on the outside. Now, uh, I could have used the uh, dedicated uh, fitting bracket uh, that you can, uh, or fitting mount that you can buy uh, off of eBay. But I thought £66 was a bit on the strong side for that. And also there's someone selling on eBay some, uh, some shims that they, uh, that they do at £6 a pair. But uh, if we have a look at uh, my ridges, I've got one, two, three. So that's uh, six pairs that is, so again 18 pounds. I thought well I wonder if I can do uh, do better than that. So what I've done is I'm going to try this uh, uh, these these shims. So I've cut, uh, I've cut this one and then what I think is that is going to sit quite nicely in there like that 
and then with some Sikaflex underneath and a mastic strip across the top that should do the trick quite nicely. And then on the underneath where the, uh, the frame used to fit, again I'm just going to trim a little bit of this uh, further back and then that should uh, stick up in there and that is going to uh, give me a straight bottom for my uh, wood on the inside and then at the sides here uh, that's what this long piece is for and again that will slide up inside the uh, closed cell foam in there just needs a little bit of trimming and again that will bring the uh, the, the height down uh, appropriately so that the wood is sitting nice and flush so next job for me is to uh, just trim this back to get that in. I'm just going to use a uh, sticker flex to, uh, to uh, stick these on on the inside and uh, also for, uh, for the outside here uh, just going to put uh, a line a run of sticker flex on the uh, on the underneath there and uh, they should hold together nicely right let's do that now okay so I've done the underneath now and I'm just up on the top I've uh, cleaned around the, uh, the the outside with some uh, some meths just to uh, give it a clean. And now I'm going to apply some Sikaflex to my uh, to my pieces here. So I'm going to use black because uh, this is uh, the stickier stuff, and uh, this is going to be uh, you know well inside once the final uh, white uh, uh, coat has gone on. So I don't think that's a problem against the, the white van. So what I've done is I've put two uh, decent beads on the back there. And then that is going to sit in there like so. And then when the fan comes across the top and then some white sealing around the outside and that should be all good. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Right, let me do the other uh, five and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, there we go. So that's my uh, six uh, recesses uh, filled in and uh, I think that looks okay. Right, let's get some mastic uh, tape around that now and then get the top fitted. Three hours later. Okay, so the first one is now uh, complete. So We've got, uh, just uh, to explain how we built this up, inside underneath here, I've got my uh, pieces of uh, UPVC uh, in there, which I cut to size. Then I've got a strip of mastic going all the way around. Then I've got uh, a good, decent bead of Sikaflex 221, the uh, horrible black stuff, uh, to give a nice uh, seal in there. And then we've got Sikaflex 512, uh, the white one, um, on the outside. And uh, just some little dots on top of the uh, screws as well, just to cover those holes. And uh, all in all, uh, well, it's the first time I've ever done that. It's not, uh, not looking too bad. It's another day and my roof fans and roof vent are finally finished. So this one at the front here is the one that you saw me uh, install. And we've got our nice wooden frame on the, uh, on the inside. And uh, that's been leak tested and is all uh, a-okay. And the uh, one at the back is exactly the same uh, with the wooden frame here. Well, I just need to take these uh, supports off, which were holding the frame in place while I was uh, putting it all together. And uh, on this one, actually, if I come in closer, you can see this uh, Sikaflex uh, 221, the real sticky black stuff, just splodging through on the inside, which is absolutely perfect and what I wanted. So I know that's got a, a good seal. I'll talk more about that when we get up on the roof uh, in just a moment and have a look from the other side. And the uh, final one is this little uh, Dometic uh, micro hecky uh, one, which is going to be in uh, what will be the bathroom. Uh, so again, I just put a wooden frame uh, around here, and then this comes with a little uh, little brackets, uh, which just fix to the frame. Um, the frame I chose actually was a couple of millimeters too uh, too shy, and the brackets were loose, so I've. Uh, 
just a little bit of ingenuity here. I've just uh, popped a little washer under there to uh, give the bracket something to uh, fix to. And uh, now it's in there nice and solid and isn't going to move. And in order to get that piece of wood nice and tight to the ceiling, um, I've had to uh, just sort of chop and shape it around the, uh, the, the ribs here. So it fits nicely right against the, 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 the top. And again, I put some Sikaflex uh, 221 up underneath there just to uh, hold that piece of wood nicely in position. Right, let's get up on the roof and see what this looks like from the other side. Right, so this is the one at the back. And then over here you can see the uh, Micro Hecky and then the other Max fan at the front there. And uh, what we did with, uh, with this one is the same as the one at the front. I used this uh, UPVC uh, trim that you can buy to uh, go around uh, doors and windows when you fit doors and windows. Just for this uh, plastic that you pull off. And that I used inside these little uh, grooves here, uh, up underneath there. Now, on the one at the front, uh, although I angled the, uh, the edges, I left the, the width as it was. And it meant it just protruded very slightly at the bottom there. Um, it was okay and we got away with it no problem but like everything in life you you live and learn don't you and you get better the more you do so on this uh, one at the back here as well as cutting the, the length that way to fit into uh, into this groove I also then trimmed uh, about a centimeter off the back here so I left the square edge as opposed to the rounded edge uh, there and trimmed a bit off the back here and then that then fit into there basically in that orientation uh, so now here we've got a nice uh, straight edge here uh, which is uh, which is looking much better so uh, you know experimenting with the first one and a much better job with the second one now with uh, with this I didn't use the mastic tape because I found that really hard work and sticky horrible stuff to, to play with on the on the front one so what I did was I used uh, Sikaflex 221 underneath where that piece of UPVC uh, plastic went and I also put Sikaflex 221 all the way around inside here all the way around the whole fan good dollops underneath here and then uh, that sat down onto the uh, Sikaflex 221 and, uh, and then screwed down into the wooden batten inside now I actually came back to do the uh, the white uh, mastic on the, the, the next day because I was running out of time and running out of daylight and interestingly we did have quite a rainstorm over over the night and uh, in these bits here this was fill up, full up and pooled with, uh, with water and uh, even though I hadn't done this white uh, mastic at that point the Sikaflex 221 on the inside was uh, holding beautifully and there was no leaks or drips at all so in actual fact if anything i didn't really need this white stuff uh, but you know for belt and braces you might as well do it properly so uh, we got sikaflex 221 on the inside and then sikaflex 512 um, around the outside here and above the the screw heads so the combination of those two together um, it's been absolutely fine and uh, that's already had a good leak test even before this white uh, stuff uh, was even put on the Sikaflex 221 is uh, very sticky and can be very very messy so you do need to uh, uh, you know be very careful with exactly where you you put that although it is, does clean off uh, very well with some uh, methylated spirits and uh, so you need a good bottle of meth, some loads and loads of paper towels and you can get rid of the mess uh, uh, that that will make uh, no problem at all. And then over at the front there, the, uh, the micro hecky has been done in exactly the same way with Sikaflex uh, 221 uh, on the inside and then uh, 512 around the outside uh, to finish that off. Um, that one doesn't come with screws to screw it down, it just fixes from, uh, from inside which I showed you uh, a little bit earlier on. So that's just a nice quick simple video on how I've done uh, my Max fan. Hope you've enjoyed that one. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this fan build series. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much and bye for now.